Hey everyone, thanks again for watching my videos. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to access a method or a function uh, from one view controller to another. Previously we had discussed how to pass uh, data from one view controller to another. But what if you had a function in another view controller and you wanted to access it from a different one? Well, that's what I'm going to teach you guys today. So going back to our regular viewcontroller.m file, um, we're going to access a new function that we re that we create on the second view controller. So first thing we want to do is we want to go to the h file here and we're going to make our method. So let's just call it access data. Okay. And we're going to make this a class method. So we're going to put a plus there. And then on second view controller, we're going to go ahead and implement that here. So void access data. And essentially we could do anything we want here. So when we go back to this view controller that we um, have originally, we'll see that we've already imported second view controller. If you don't import the other view controller that has the method you want to access, you won't be able to access it because it won't know where to look. So here, what you'll do then, and let's say we want to do it in the view did load method, for example, but this could be really anywhere. First thing we want to do is we want to reference that second view controller. So again, we'll call that second view. So that's pretty standard. We're just we're just referencing that second view. So now, um, instead of the data passed string like we did previously, we're going to actually access that method. So you could do second view controller or second view access data. So as you can see here, we have an error. Why do we have that error? It's because we declared it as a class method. So what we need to do is actually switch that back over. I did that because I want you guys to learn the difference between class and instance variables. So now we're turning it back to an instance method, I mean, and we have to change both of these back. Sometimes you'll see pluses, sometimes you'll see uh, these minus signs. That's just what that means. It's a class or an instance uh, method. So make sure these both match. And now when we go back to our regular view controller, you'll see that that thing went away. You can command click and you'll know that you go back to that. So whatever data you want to pass um, or access, whatever function you want to access from another view controller, that's how you do it. In a later video, I'm going to show you how to actually have that method, process some data, and then return a value back. Thanks again for watching. Let me know if there's anything else you guys like to learn. Uh, again, like and subscribe, and thanks again.